Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm Emil. I'm Alyssa, and we're some of the Jack's Parks interns. Today, we're at Sheffield Park to learn the ins and outs of geocaching. You're probably asking yourself, what is geocaching? Well, we asked the same question. We brought some experts from the cache station to let us know what it really is. Geocaching is a worldwide treasure hunting game that you find treasure using a GPS or a smartphone with a downloaded app. So basically you go out and you look for little caches, they could be anything, and you use GPS or like an app on your phone and you go out and you look for these caches. A cache can be uh, really anything uh, that somebody wants to hide. It's only limited to the rules of the game and the imagination of the hider. We found little fake grasshoppers, stickers, armbands, toys, and then there's also the log in there so that you can write your name and the date in which you found the cache. They have difficulty ratings from one to five. A one-star geocache is what's considered easy. You should be able to find it within a few minutes. And then the other extreme is a five-star geocache where you can expect to spend two or three hours within a five-foot range and still be looking for the geocache. A sense of adventure. Uh, you would always want to bring water with you. Um, I would bring bug spray. Depending on the weather, make sure you have the appropriate attire. Sometimes you need boots because you're gonna be getting into a wetter area than other times. And friends. It's a great kind of bonding experience. I got to know the people I, I, I geocached with. So it's a great way to spend your time and to really get to know the trails. It makes trail walking just more exciting. Um, there are rules. Uh, one of the main rules for geocaching is that all geocaches has to have to be placed uh, 0.1 mile from each other. That's 525 feet. Um, you also can't dig any way to find or hide a cache. Uh, you can't hide them too close to certain public structures like schools, bridges, tunnels. Uh, really anything where you somebody may spot the geocache and think, could that be a bomb? You probably don't want to hide it there. Uh, geocaching is a game for pretty much everybody. My son started geocaching at about two months old. I put him in a baby backpack on my chest and, and we went out and had a good time. On the other extreme, I've seen caches in their 70s or 80s, you know, go and drive up and go walk out in the woods and go find a geocache. So there, there's no, nobody that this game is limited against. Most times trails, you just walk and you walk. But this one was fun because you actually had to look for things and get involved with the trail. If you love to go outdoors and you love to be out in the sunshine, geocaching may be something that you like to do. Uh, for me, I go geocaching because I love to travel and I like to see new places. And a lot of times you can find geocaches that are basically like a locals tour of the area. So you can go and you can find some of the hidden monuments or some of the really cool places that you just would never know about if you didn't know about the game. There's all kinds of different containers, but in my opinion, the best treasure are the locations that you get to go and see. I've seen things I would never have seen if it wasn't for geocaching. Adds a little uh, spice and adventure to, to just regular trail walking, gives you a mission, something to accomplish, and you can feel proud at the end of it. I've never done anything like it, you know, it's, um, it's different. I went out, I found, I found my first cache, which was really exciting, it was under a tree. Uh, I, I'm not very outdoorsy, but I, I adjusted and I, I crawled into that hole and I, and I found that cache and I was really proud of myself. It was a really good experience. So, if you're looking to add a little adventure to your outdoor experience, look no further than geocaching. It's an activity the whole family can enjoy. And if you really want to take it to the next level, you can try the City of Jacksonville's annual geocaching challenge. If you earn enough points, you might just get one of these collectible coins. For more information about geocaching and other activities available in your parks, visit jacksparks.com. Cash on!